Preston, and this is the Cougar Campus News. Attention staff and students, next week Tuesday will be a Super Tuesday, and therefore this Monday will be an odd block schedule. To repeat, this coming Monday will be an odd period block schedule. Attention all seniors, Yurik will, will love to honor all the senior friend groups on this campus. If you would like to be featured, please send in any squad pictures you have. We are also asking any senior or siblings that attend Halfway Bay High School to send in pictures together for our siblings page. Please email pictures to Miss Lunchtroth at the address you see on the screen. And now it's time for this week's principal report with Mr. Nazar. Good morning. I just want to remind you a couple things. One, Monday we're on a Tuesday schedule. So we're on the odd block schedule because Tuesday is a super Tuesday. Students, you get out early, but we are having a college fair. You've been seeing the promotions for it. I think you're going to find a lot of great stuff there. I really ask you, I think, attend it, participate, and you can learn and really to expand your horizons. For all of us, let's work hard. Let's be kind to one another. Have a great day. Only five weeks left to serve your detentions before the prom on April 4th. You can serve your detentions Wednesday and Friday mornings and Wednesday and Friday after school. You pick the day and time, but get it done. If you owe detention or two, then you should have received a notice this week stating how many hours you owe. If you want to double check, stop by the front office. Now, once again, here's Gabby with a reminder about tomorrow's prom dress giveaway event. Hey Cougars, are you ready for prom? Do you have your prom dress yet? If you still need a dress, say yes to a prom dress is this weekend. The pop-up shop will be set up like a store, except everything is free. Anyone can go shopping and they have hundreds of dresses in the store in all sizes and lots of them are brand new. The giveaway is this Saturday from 1 to 5 at Fit Studio near the Cove Cafe. If you plan on going to prom and need a dress, you should really go check it out. Students, there is a community service opportunity in Montero working with rescue horses. Please go to supportahorse.org for details. Cougars, the uh, community college fair is coming up next Tuesday. There are exciting local programs including digital art and animation. The digital art and animation program at Kenyatta College is committed to providing both the academic and training skills necessary to launch your career in the design industry. Our instructors offer hands-on training with state-of-the-art equipment in 3D animation and video game art, web design, digital photography, and graphic design. Develop a professional portfolio so you can achieve your dream job. Start today on the path to your new career and make a difference in the world. Enroll at Kenyatta College. From here, you can go anywhere. You can learn more about that exciting program and many other college programs at the upcoming community college fair here on campus next Tuesday inside the MU. Feeling hungry? Getting ready for lunch coming up soon at the end of fourth period? Here is what's on the menu today in the MU. Pepperoni pizza and cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. Good. Now here's Lucas with the sports. The University basketball team beat Scotts Valley High School 53 to 44. With the win, they now play for the CCS Division IV Championship versus a big and strong Monte Vista Christian team tomorrow, as well as have their ticket to the CIF Northern California State Tournament. The varsity baseball team beat Sacred Heart Prep 10-3. In the bottom half of the fourth inning, HMB put the game away with an eight-run explosion. Every Cougar besides one in the inning scored in the inning with a combination of walks, hits, and fielding errors. Casillo <coughs> Guevara got the big hit with the two RBI single. Jared Medham led the Cougars with three hits and two runs scored. Danny Guevara earned the win, pitching four innings with five strikeouts. The Cougars' JV fell to Sacred Heart Prep 5-4 to four on Thursday on the final play of the game. The game was tied at four with Sacred Heart Prep batting in the bottom of the seventh when an error scored a run for Sacred Heart Prep. Liam, Har Liam Harrington led the Cougars with two hits and four at-bats. The boys' varsity ten tennis team beat Woodside High School 5-2. to two. All four singular singles players won handily as Phineas Lehan, Brian Bohr, Evan Alexander, and Noah Nemicolo were all winners. Come show your support for the JV softball team hosting the Cougar Classic Tournament. These ladies play at 2.15 uh, p.m. and again at 5.45. The snack bar will be open right after school. Tomorrow they play at 10 a.m. and 11.45 a.m. Good luck, ladies. Now here's Mr. Olson with the Daily Trivia. Happy Friday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. For your fourth period trivia players, the answer to our question on Wednesday about currency, it was Martha Washington, the first ever first lady. 
was the first female to appear on U.S. currency. Congratulations to Mr. V and his class. They were the fastest dancer. And thanks to Mr. Agundas who sent in the question. Now today, on this Friday, we have a question sent in from Ms. Coricini. And just like yesterday, our category will be TV news. Watch your email for the question from me and have a fantastic Friday. Half Moon Bay High School.